It's great. It's overwhelming, a little intimidating, but 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 uh, it, it really felt um, uh, very comfortable right away. You know, a lot of movies in between takes, people run back through trailers, but on this job, everyone stayed on set and really connected. You get a chance like this very rarely, so you, when you do, you just got to grab it with both hands. And um, I'm just like, you know, just was incredibly fortunate to get cast in this and just to have as much fun as you know we did. I mean, it was. Uh, it was very a very funny script and a very it was very funny to act in and, and very funny to, to, to work on. Well, I wanted a very specific. There's a beautiful jewelry company called Verdura, which is an old school elegant jewelry company, and I I sort of cornered the entire outfit with the gold bracelet uh, with the stacked on the watch, which is a Verdura chain bracelet which is just a very specific from that I everything when you make a film you or you know when you do a project you're not always sure how it's going to resonate um, but making this it felt really special and it was really fun so to see that people have responded to it in the way that they have is so like thrilling and and so lovely and and it's something that you always want as an actor well it's pretty damn nice when you when you uh, when you put your best stuff on on the ball and send it across the neck net and it comes back with more spin on it than you put on it. That's a fun day. I am beyond over the moon. I mean, this has been such an incredible experience and finally we get to, you know, get it out there. It's been a year exactly now and and it's just very exciting. It was just I had we had so much fun doing this and I loved working with everyone. I got to play a scene with every single character in the movie, so I feel very lucky and just Ryan is an angel, he's a dream director. For me, it's it's this is a movie that's made to be seen with a big crowd. It's got hopefully a lot of laughs in it. It's got twists and turns. It's made to be a big collective fun, fun, fun experience. So it makes me so happy the audiences are having a good time watching it. Um, just prepare for a lot of twists and turns. And um, even though it appears like this really fun movie, there's a lot of heart underneath it. And um, you know, it's about this crazy family and what happens when there's they're stripped of what defines them, their money. Yeah, I read the script. I haven't seen the movie. I read the script, and, uh, you know, Ryan's a great writer, great director, and a great friend. He and Ron, the producer. So I'm, 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 I'm just, uh, I'm a day player here. I shouldn't even be on the line. Yeah, it was pretty dreamy. I mean, I was working with people that I've admired ever since I was a, a very young person, you know, people I grew up watching. So, uh, it was really trippy to meet Frank Oz. I was, I'll never forget that. And uh, Jamie and Don, everybody, are just really special people. He's just uh, a, 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 a complete filmmaker, I think, and that he has um, the ability to come up with stuff like this. He then has uh, a great eye for casting, as you can tell. From, from the incredible cast, um, and he knows how to talk to actors. And it's a rare, it's a rare quality in a director to be able to, uh, to, to direct so many people in a cast. I mean, people like Robert Altman and Hal Hartley had that kind of skill, and I kind of put him up there with those guys. I can tell you they will have a good time. It's a world where it's a very hard time to feel like we're having a good time anywhere. And I was very happy to be a part of something that is just genuinely, first of all, a great movie. You will never figure out what's happening, and the puzzle pieces will come together in that really delightful way where you're like, I know, I got this, and then you don't have it. Um, and I think there, there's a time for that, and it may just be that it's the time for it here today. Everyone really is so talented, you know, from, from Ryan, you know, who wrote and directed this, it's an original script, to, you know, the producers and obviously to the incredible cast, like, everyone really brought something so special and, and really cared about it. So to be, you know, working with these kind of people for six weeks, it was just so much fun and, um, yeah, just a real privilege. You know, I think they're going to be surprised. They're going to be surprised that they can't figure it out. They're going to be surprised about how funny it is and they're going to be surprised about 
how they're they're going to walk out of there feeling uplifted. That I mean, I'm in the movie. I read the script, and that's the way I felt when I saw it. We all kind of like walked in, into the process kind of the same way. Um, so we were finding along, uh, you know, the characters and uh, how to play the scenes along the way, and and we had a beautiful script, and all the characters are incredibly you know, rounded and perfect and very well written. It makes my job so easy when you have a cast like this, when literally every single person who comes on screen, you're like, oh my God, it's that person. Uh, yeah, it, it just makes it work a joy. I can say that the nicest people, most supportive people, you know, I was, my scenes have, my two scenes have to do with all of them. And they're all just so supportive and so nice, you know, it's kind of disgusting. Well, I think it's very unique. I mean, even though he's uh, presenting a genre that we're all familiar with, uh, it's it's kind of an older genre, and it hasn't really been tapped into. You know, a lot of times when people do films like this, they like they go back and remake Murder on the Orient Express or something like that. Or, and and this is actually, even though it's an homage to the older films, it's it's also its own thing, which is uh, pretty cool. For me, I think what's so striking is that this is a genre that is so classic and that so many people know or have watched or think that they know, and yet, for me, this film is so fresh, and I think that's a real credit to you know, Ryan, who, again, wrote and directed this, and it really does feel like an original and a breath of fresh air into this classic, ageless genre. And directors like Ryan Johnson and this cast, it just doesn't happen very often, and to be a part of it is awesome. Um, it's funny for any audience, but it's also smart enough and it has an underlayer of very serious matters that are ha we are dealing with nowadays. Jenny Egan, who's our costume designer, really dug into it. You, you can't beat Chris Evans in a sweater. <laughs> Chris Evans in, a, in, in those sweaters? Yeah, that's hard. That's, that's hard to beat. That's tough to beat. He's a writer-director, and so he, he, is, he has it so organized and so so prepared that when we show up he kind of he actually directs and he says you know I'm feeling you kind of right in here and, and then we all sort of start falling in line and the next thing you know we've got a big scene it's fantastic it's kind of a straight-up Agatha Christie style who done it but it's an original story and it's set in 2019 America it's modern day and that gives it kind of a kind of a slightly new new flavor so I hope I, I hope the crowd in here is going to have a blast.